Welcome back Pez Collectors. Today's video is going to be all about custom Pez or some people call them fantasy Pez. Now I recently bought something from Topher Yarison over on Facebook and he takes Pez and he paints them to different colors or he swaps out different items on them. I always like seeing what he creates but I finally found one that I just had to have. <laughs> and then he made me a custom one because there was another one that I just had to have as well. Just happened to be like the same week or two. <laughs> So let me open these up and show you them up close. There's also a little robot on the box. That's cute. <laughs> I can't wait to see these in real life. Let's see. I don't know what one to even look at first. I'm just going to pick one out. <laughs> so take a closer look there. This is supposed to be Moon Racer from the Rudolph movie. You know, like the claymation movies. It's using... Mufasa from The Lion King. So I think the process is Topher takes a Pez and he paints them and it's not just you know like a brush. I think he actually like sprays them because they look like super smooth. It's like an automotive paint type of process I think. <laughs> At least that's what I have in my head because it doesn't look like it's just painted. So it's probably like an airbrush or something. So Topher if you're watching my video maybe you can comment down below how you do it if you do want to you know share with people because I think these are super cool and they're always super creative and this one so it's Mufasa from The Lion King and it has a little crown and I think this crown is from Peppa Pig let's see how Mufasa doesn't normally wear a crown but Moonracer wears a crown I love it and then he also painted the stem as well but it doesn't even look painted it just looks like a brown stem it looks really nice Topher, this is so awesome. <laughs> Thanks for creating one of these for me, and uh, I can't wait to add it to my Pez collection. I might have to put a little note on the back that says this is a customer fantasy Pez because it looks real. <laughs> of course, I always like to check the sleeve, and he did sign it, so it says Topher 2022 on there, <laughs> which is really, really cool. Man, this just looks so nice. So there is one more in the box here. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And this is the one that he, I guess, custom made for me based on another one that he made. And he made me this one because he was like, this would probably look even better than the first one. <laughs> Which I do still really like the first one, but this one is super cool too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, this is so cute. So take a closer look there. It's one of the new polar bear Pez. And he took the Santa hat off of it and he added a top hat. I think this is a top hat to one of the Peter Pez clowns. And then he also added a little bow tie on the front there. And the ears are black because it's supposed to look like a panda bear. I think it's really cute. I do have my crystal bear sitting here. It's the same bear as this. He just took this one and painted it white. And then added the top hat and added the black ears and probably the black eyes and nose you've all painted as well. And then the little black bow tie on the front. Yeah, because the eyes are different than like the ones that come on Pez, so he definitely painted those as well. <laughs> There's like little white dots in the ears to make it look like a panda. I love it. Let's open this one up as well. Oh, wait, he didn't sign this one. <laughs> oh, maybe he forgot. But he also didn't paint the stem on this one, so this one is already a white stem. It looks really nice though. It didn't need to be painted. This one needed to be painted because I guess Moon Racer's body is a darker brown like the face than Mufasa has. <laughs> so I don't have many fantasy or custom Pez, but when I went to the Michigan Pez convention, I did buy some from Karen. They're sitting over here. I never showed them, I don't think, on the channel, but they sit right here because I love them so much. I'll show them to you real quick just for fun. So one of the customer fantasy Pez I got from Karen is this one and it has the spider-man head from a spider-man pez and then the back of it is a pez truck and then they put little spider webs on there and i say they because i'm pretty sure she works on these with her husband and then it also rolls just like a pez truck <laughs> so i think this is really cool and really creative i think pez should make stuff like this with the licensed characters but i mean now kara made them so i don't know but I don't know why Pez didn't think of this before. And then inside there, she signed it. Pez Angel Karen 2022 on it. So 
I don't know, I think this is just super cool and my husband likes to collect all the superhero pez so I was like, Greg, you need this for your collection. But I keep it up here. <laughs> so I think it's super cool. One day I might add it down to my pez display but for now I keep it right here. There are two more I got at the Michigan Pez Convention I didn't show before. Here's another one that Karen made. I think these are so cute. She had a whole bunch of these Hello Kitties and they're all custom. I don't know, she painted or whatever, put the designs on the heads. There's like little jewels on it to make a sparkle. And it's wearing like a little earring. <laughs> I think it's super fun. It has like some sparkly jewels on it as well. On the inside there, it says Pez Angel Karen again. This one says 2019. I know if you ever go to a pez convention, she goes to a lot of pez conventions and I know she sells these like in her rooms. And I'm pretty sure she always makes these little Hello Kitties. She also has like skulls and uh, I don't know, some other really cool ones I can't think of right now, but maybe I'll insert the clip of me shopping in her room. <laughs> but this is super cute and I saw these and I was like, I have to have one of these. So I keep this one right here behind me as well all the time because I just think it's super cute. And then I also did buy this other one, but I'm not sure who made this, but I think it's maybe like 20 years old or maybe 10 years old. It's pretty old. I got this Gumby pen dispenser. It's a custom or a fancy one. It's not real. And the bubble is turning yellow, I guess, because it is so old. Or maybe it's just was kept in sunlight or I don't know. It doesn't smell like smoke, but it's really yellowed. Oh, it says it's from 2005, so it is almost 20 years old. That's pretty old. It says M. Tapia at the bottom, but as far as I know, the person I bought this from said that they bought it from somebody and they've had it in their collection. And I saw that they were selling this Gumby Pez, and I really like Gumby. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Gumby and Pokey. I grew up watching them. And uh, I thought this was super cool. I don't know why Pez doesn't make a Gumby and Pokey Pez either. <laughs> but I thought, especially since this one was on a card, like a custom made card. Another cool part I thought, it looks like a Pez USA card, but it has the Pez International candy in it, which I think is interesting, like mix up. I don't know why they did that, but I don't know. I think this is really cute. I think if I tried, I could probably squeeze I could squeeze Gumby out, but I'm just gonna leave Gumby in the package. <laughs> I think over the years someone has taped it back together, but I don't know. I just like this so much. And my Gumby Pez, it usually sits up here in the bookshelf. You just can't usually see it in my videos, but I think this is super cool. So there are a lot of people who make fantasy or custom Pez. I think that they're super cool because a lot of Pez people are super creative. So it's always neat to see what people can create. You just have to watch out to make sure that, you know, if someone were ever to go to sell your Pez collection down the road that they know that these are like custom or fantasy pieces because I think you could easily mistake these for, you know, real Pez if you, you know, didn't know anything about Pez. But I think the ones I bought here are obviously, you know, fantasy or custom, especially because the people signed them, except for the polar bear. <laughs> but I mean, especially because they're signed, you know, you're going to open that up and go, what is that? You know, why is that in there? I don't have a lot of customer fantasy Pez. I might have only just like one that usually sits on my Pez display downstairs and it's Spock. I think my husband wanted that before they even made the Spock or the Star Trek like Pez set. <laughs> so I know we bought that at like one of the conventions. But otherwise, I don't really have a lot of custom made or fantasy Pez. Oh. I do have the Steve Glue ones, but they aren't really Pez dispensers. They're, they look like a Pez, but they don't like function as a Pez. Also, I just got this Pez in the mail. I think this is so cute. This was a surprise that I got. It's a little gnome and you can look at it and it's built off of a snowman. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to open it up too much there, but it's built off of a snowman Pez and I love the little hat. Isn't that cute? And then the stem here is a really nice flannel. <laughs> I think this is so cute. I love this so much. So now I have two gnome Pez. I guess this isn't really a Pez. It's one of the Larry Mason's ones. You know, he makes the Pez Outlaw, the Steve Glue ones with Steve Glue. But I think this one's super cute. See how it doesn't 
like function as a Pez. It's just this one's just two pieces that go together. But it looks like a mini Pez. So I think these are super adorable. I like these gnomes. <laughs> I never knew that I liked gnomes until I got this little one from Larry Mason and then I got this one in the mail last week and I was like, gnomes. <laughs> I just think this is so cute. Well, what do you think about customer fantasy made Pez? Do you have any of them in your Pez collections? If you do, let me know in the comments below what you have because I love to hear what you have because Pez doesn't always make everything, you know, they can only make a limited amount of Pez dispensers. So there's always like licensed characters or, you know, like just gnomes or, <laughs> or these really fun Pez trucks that they make a truck and they make a Spider-Man, but they don't make anything like this, you know, that I think people would want to have in their collection. So if you have any Pez that are custom or fantasy, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. <laughs> I think these are really fun. And if you are interested in buying any of these Pez from Topher, I'll put his link to his Facebook page down in the description. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this fun, like custom and fantasy Pez video. It was a lot of fun to make and I was super happy to get like all these Pez this past year. Hopefully this is just like a little start to some custom fantasy Pez I'm going to be adding to my Pez collection. <laughs> so as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Words left on the shelf Full of dust you'll know